Let's read the story, The Night Before Summer Camp, written by Natasha Wing and illustrated by Mindy Pierce. Let's turn the page. "'Twas the night before day camp, when at the town park, the counselors were working till well after dark. The canoes were moored by the boat dock with care, in hopes that young paddlers soon would be there. Let's turn the page. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of butterflies danced in their heads. Let's count how many children you see. One, two, three. Let's turn the page. But not everyone was happy about going to camp, especially Rick, the worry bird champ. Look at Rick's face. He doesn't look too happy. He is worried. Let's turn the page. In the morning, Mom woke him. Rise and shine, kiddo. But he pulled up the covers. I don't want to go. Let's turn the page. I don't know anyone there. I'll be gone all day. Can't I just go over to Tommy's and play? He's telling this to his mom while they're eating breakfast. Let's turn the page. Camp is one giant playtime, Mom said, so don't you stress, and it's not an overnighter. Okay, I'll try it, I guess. So he's going to try it. He's going to go to camp, and here comes the bus. Let's turn the page. The bus picked him up at the end of the street. He's giving his mom a hug. Let's turn the page and dropped off the kids where the sign said to meet. Do you see the red sign? It says campers meet here. There was a whole bunch of children, none that Rick knew. He felt lost and lonely. What do I do? Let's turn the page. Come join the lion's cubs, said his counselor Kim, who today was teaching the kids how to swim. Let's see if he goes to join them. Let's turn the page. Kick your feet, move your arms, place your face in the water. Excellent, Rick, you swim like an otter. It looks like he's having fun. I see a smile. Let's turn the page. For the rest of the morning, the cubs explored nature trails. They saw butterflies, birds, Crawly bugs, snakes, and snails. What about you? Can you see a butterfly? What about a bird? Any bugs? What about a snake or a snail? Let's turn the page. They gathered up sticks and found bark to make boats, then set them a sail. Hey, look! Mine really floats. Let's turn the page. When what at the edge of the lake should appear but a beautiful doe and two baby brown deer. Their eyes how they twinkled, their bobtails so twitchy, their legs were so slender, while Rick's were so itchy. Let's turn the page. Anybody starving? asked Kim. It's time to eat lunch. But Rick wasn't hungry. He missed his mom a whole bunch. Rick is over in the corner. It looks like he's kicking a rock. He doesn't look too happy. Let's turn the page. Counselor Kim sat beside him and asked, Are you okay? I want to go home, Rick told her. I'm kind of nervous today. Kim smiled and said, Hey, little cub, I'm nervous just like you. This is my very first job. I'm away from home, too. Let's turn the page. Last night, I tossed and turned in my bed. I couldn't get the jitters out of my head. So Kim is relating to Rick. They both feel the same way. Let's turn the page.
same here, replied Rick. I really understand. So whenever you're nervous, just hold on to my hand. Turn the page. It's a deal, said Kim, and thanks for the talk. Could you help me carry the jump rope and chalk? So he's helping her. Let's turn the page. For the rest of the week, Rick had oodles of fun. There were three-legged races, which he and Kim won. Look at the smile on Rick's face. He really is having a lot more fun. Let's turn the page. He made a scrapbook, a drum at the arts and crafts table. Let's turn the page. He starred in a play from an old Aesop's fable. Day camp ended on Friday. Oh, what a bummer. Let's turn the page. I want to go back for two weeks next summer. So at the end of the story, Rick really enjoyed summer camp. Next year, he wants to go back for an even longer time. The end. We finished.